Garuda Purana episode 27 An account of the coming to birth of people who have done good 1 2 Garuda said the righteous man having enjoyed heaven is born in a stainless family Now tell me how he is produced in the womb of the mother I wish to hear what in this body the man of good deeds thinks Tell me O treasure house of compassion 3 4 the blessed. Lord said, You have asked well, O Tarkasya. I will tell you that supreme secret, even by knowing which one becomes all-knowing. I will tell you the real nature of that body which possesses the attributes of the universal egg, the object of concentration of yogins. 5-6. Hear how the yogins perform the meditation upon the six chakras, one within it, and likewise meditation upon the nature of Chit and Ananda in the Brahmarandra. And how he of good deeds is born in the house of the pure and prosperous, I will tell you also about the rites and observances of the parents. 7.10 After menstruation the women should be avoided for four days. Their face should not be seen during that time, lest sin should arise in the body. Having bathed, and washed her clothes. A woman becomes pure on the fourth day. From the seventh day she becomes fit to perform the rites of worship to the forefathers and the shining ones. During the seven days the embryo continues impure. Here the sons gradually enter during the eighth day. Sons are born on even nights, daughters on all. Keeping away from her during the first seven days, on even nights he enters. 11-12 16 nights are declared to be common for women. 1. On the 14th night the seed remains there certainly. Then is produced the righteous son, a store of auspicious qualities. That night is never obtained by vulgar people. 13. On the 4th Day women should eat sweet foods. Pungent acid Astringent and hot things should be entirely avoided. 1418. The husband, like a husbandman, having sown the seed of great potentiality in the field which is productive of grain, reaps a good harvest. The man, having chewed betel, one put on flowers and sandal paste and clean clothes, and with righteous thoughts in his mind, should unite with his good wife. According to the thoughts in his mind at the time of union will be the nature of the one who enters the womb. The intelligence joined with the seed remains always in the sperm. When desire, thought and sperm become united, then the man obtains semen, and in the interior of the womb the formation of ovum takes place by the union of sperm and germ cells. 19. The good son who enters the womb is the giver of the highest bliss. For him there are numerous rites, such as the Punsavana. 2023. The meritorious soul obtains birth in a high family. At the time of his birth, Brahmans receive much wealth. He grows up in his parents' house, endowed with learning and modesty, becoming skillful in all the sciences, by association with the wise in his youth he is divinely handsome, wealthy and benevolent, arising as the result of great merit, austerities, and pilgrimages to sacred waters, formerly done. Then he constantly strives to discriminate between the self and the not-self. By Adhyaropa 1 and a Pavadar 2 he meditates upon Brahman. 24. For the understanding of the disassociation of Brahman from that with which he is associated. I will tell you the attributes of earth and the others, which are of the genus not self. 25.30 Earth, water, fire, air and ether these are called the stable elements. This body is made up of the five elements. Skin, bones, nerves, hair and flesh. These are the five attributes of earth, O Lord of birds, declared to you by me. Saliva, urine, sperm, marrow, and blood, the fifth, 
are said to be the five attributes of water. Now here those of fire, hunger, thirst, sloth, sleep and sexual desire are called the five attributes of fire by yogins everywhere, O Tarkasya. Bending, running, jumping, stretching and moving, these are declared the five attributes of air. Speech, thought, vacuity, delusion and mental instability the five attributes of ether may be understood by you with effort. 31. Mind, reason, individualization, analysis these four are called the internal means and have the flavor of past karma. 32. Ears, skin, eyes, tongue and nose are the sense organs. The organs of speech, hands, feet, the organs of generation and of excretion are the organs of action. 33. Dick, Vata, Arka, Prachetas, the two Ashwins, Vahni, Indra, Upyudra, Mitra are declared to be the duties of the organs of sense and action. 34 to 35. Ida, one Pingala, to Sushumna, three thirdly, and also Gandhari, four Gajzihva, five Pusha, six Yasasvini, seven Alambusha, eight and Kuhu, nine and Shankhini, ten the tenth as well are situated in the interior of the body and are the ten principal Nadis. 11. 36 39. Prana, Apna, Samana, Udana, and Vyana also, Naga, Kurma, Krikla, Devdatta, and Dhananjaya 12. In the heart, Prana, in the anus, Apna, in the navel, Samana, in the region of the throat, Udana, and distributed all over the body, Vyana, wanting is called Naga, opening and shutting the eyes is known as Kurma, the cause of hunger is to be known as Krikla, yawning, Devdatta, Dhananjaya, all pervading, does not leave even the coats and carries all over the body the nourishment which is obtained by eating mouthfuls of food. 40-43 The air called Vyana carries the essential part in all the Nadis. Food, as soon as it in, is split into to buy that air. Having entered near the anus it separates the solid and liquid portions placing the water over the fire and the solid over the water, the prana standing under the fire inflames it slowly. The fire, inflamed by the air, separates the substance from the waste. The vyana air makes the essence go all over and the waste, forced through the twelve gateways, is ejected from the body. 44. Ears, eyes, nostrils, tongue, teeth, navel, nails, anus, Generative organs, head, trunk, hair are called unclean places. 45. Thus the heirs, having derived their power from the self, perform their own functions, affecting people, just as does the rising of the sun. 46. Now here, O bird, the twofold nature of the body of man. One is Vyabharika and the second Parmarthika. 47.52. On the Vyabharika there are 35 millions of hairs of the body, 700 thousands of hairs of the head, it is said, and 20 nails, there are said to be 32 teeth usually, O son of Vinta, the flesh is said to be 1000 palas 1 and blood 100 palas, fat is 10 palas. Skin is 7 palas, marrow is 12 palas, the great blood is 3 palas, Seed is known to be two kudvas, ovum one kudva, and bones in the body are said to be 360. The nadis, both dense and subtle, number tens of million, bile is 50 palas, phlegmis half of that. The waste materials are not measurable, as they are constantly changing. The body which possesses these attributes is Vyabharika. 253. All the worlds, mountains, continents, oceans, suns and planets are in the Parmarthika 3 body. 54. In the Parmarthika body, there are 6 chakras in which are said to be located the attributes of the egg of Brahma. 55. I will tell you about these, which are the objects of meditation of yogins. By pondering upon them one becomes the enjoyer of the nature of Virja. 
45659. Below the feet is called Atala, above the feet, Vitala, at the knees know it as Sutla, at the thighs Mahatala, at the hips, Kaltala, at the secret part Rasatla, at the lawns Patala, these are declared to be the seven worlds, Ghuloka, at the middle of the navel, above it the Bhuvraloka, in the heart, Swarloka, at the throat it should be known as Maharlika, Janaloka, in the region of the mouth, Tapolka, at the forehead, Satyaloka in the Brahmarandhradis are the 14 words. 6061. Meru is situated in the triangle 1, Mandara is in the inverted triangle, Kalas is in the right triangle, Himachala in the left triangle. Nishada is in the upper lines, Gandhamadana in the lines on the right, Ramana in the lines on the left, the seven great mountains. 60 to 65. Jambu is in the place of the bones, Saka is situated in the marrow, the Kusha continent is situated in the flesh, the Krocha continent in the nerves, the Salmali continent is in the skin, Gomeda in the mass of hair, Pushkara in the place of the nails, and next the oceans, page 149 in the urine, the Kshara ocean, the Kshira ocean in the milk, the Sura ocean is situated in the phlegm. In the marrow, the Grita ocean, the Rasa ocean in the juices, the Dadi ocean is known to be in the ova, the Swadu ocean in the region of the soft palate, you should know son of Vinta. 6668. The sun is situated in the Nada chakra, the moon is in the Bindu chakra, Mars is situated, it should be known. In the eyes, Mercury is in the heart. It is declared, Jupiter is in the Vishnu Sthana, it should be known, Venus is situated in the seed, Saturn is in the navel, Rahu in the face, it is declared, Ketu is situated in the lungs, in the body is the circle of the planets. In all these forms one should meditate on his own body. 6971 Always at dawn, sitting steadily cross-legged, one should meditate upon the six chakras, in the order of the Ajapa. One the Gayatri called Ajapa is the giver of liberation to the sages, by merely thinking upon it one is released from all sin. Listen, O Tarkasya, and I will explain the best method of Ajapa, by doing which the individual always gives up his separateness. 70-73 Muladhara, Swadhishtana, Manipurka, Anahtam, Vishuddhi and also Agya are spoken of as the six chakras. One should meditate in order upon the chakras, at the root of the generative organ, in the region of the pelvis, in the navel, in the heart, in the throat, between the eyebrows, at the top of the head. 74-75 The Muladhara is four-petaled and resplendent, with letters from Vatusa, the Swadhishthana resembles the sun, is six-petaled, and has the letters from B.A. to La. The Manipurka is red in color and has ten petals, from Da to Fa. The Anahta is twelve-petaled, from Ka to Tha, and is golden-colored. The Vishuddhi Lotus is sixteen-petaled, with the vowels, and has the light of the moon. The Matra One Lotus is two-petaled, has the letters Ha and Ksha, and is red in color. The one at the top of the head is the most resplendent. This lotus has a thousand petals and is the seat of truth and bliss, ever auspicious, light-possessing and eternal. 76. One should meditate. In order, in the chakras, on Ganesha, on Vidhi, to on Vishnu, on Siva, on Jiva, on Guru and on Parambrahman, all pervading. 1780. It is said by the wise that the subtle movements of the breath in one day and night number 21,600. It goes out with the sound of Ha and enters again with the sound of Sathe. Individual is, indeed, always repeating the mantra. Hamsa, Hamsa, 600 for Ganesa, 6000 for Vedhas 1, 6000 for Hari 2, 6000 for Hara. 3 a.m. thousand for the Jivatman, a thousand for Guru, a thousand or the Chidatman, thus one should understand the respective numbers of the repetitions. 81-82 
Aruna and other sages, who know the succession of teachers, meditate upon the deities presiding over the chakras, who are rays of Brahman. The sages, Sukha and Ethers, teach it to their pupils, therefore a wise man, after meditating upon the path of the great ones, should always meditate thus. 83. Having worshipped mentally in all the chakras, with unwavering mind, he should repeat the Ajapa Gayatri according to the instructions of the teacher. 8488. He should meditate in the Randhara, with the thousand petaled lotus inverted, upon the blessed teacher within the Hamsa, whose lotus hand frees from fear. He should regard his body as being washed in the flow of nectar from his feet. Having worshipped in the fivefold way he should prostrate, singing his praise. Then he should meditate on the Kundalini, as moving upwards and downwards, as making a tour of the six chakras, placed in three and a half coins. Then he should meditate on the place called Sushumna, which goes out of the Randhara, thereby he goes to the highest state of Vishnu. Then he should always meditate, between four o'clock and Sunri say, on my form, self-illumined, eternal and ever-blissful. 89. He should bring his mind to a state of steadiness, not by efforts alone, but under the instruction of a teacher without whom he falls. 90. Having done the inward sacrifice, he should perform the outward sacrifice. Having done the purificatory ablution and the Sandhya, he should worship Hari and Hara. 91-94 For those who are attached to the body facing inward, one does not come about. For then devotion is easier and that gives liberation. Tapas and Yoga and others are also ways to liberation, but for those who are attached to the world of change, the path by devotion to me is far superior. This is the conclusion of the all-knowing Brahma and others, after having conned the Vedas and the Sastras for three periods. Sacrifices and other righteous duties purify the mind. The devotion to me has a form of fruit from which the obtainer never falls away. 95. The good man who follows this, O Tarkasya, by the union due to devotion to me, goes to eternal liberation.